Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And as you can see, I've got almost every flavor of tuner. But the one I don't have turns out to be the one with the highest top speed, thanks to Bruffy1322 for passing along that information. His, his links are in the, uh, the GTA Online reference library. Okay, we have to go to two-door... Do we have the F-36 where we're going to get the F-36? I forget what the story is. I think we have one that we got from a heist, but I don't want to convert it just yet. I don't think I'm going to be able to convert it just yet. Because that is, you know, eternally screwed up. Is it possible it's over on the other, um... Is that in Legendary, possibly? Older legendary. Where is the growler? There it is. 1.2 million. You prefer the book to the movie. You drink spirits and neat. You s describe your sense of humor as subtle and your love making is impeccable. You're the thinking person and you chose handling over speed, control over power, and principle over pleasure. You chose wisely. You chose the Fister Growler. Now this actually is the highest top speed, so some of that doesn't make a lot of sense. We're going to put that in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, here it is. Auto shot. Boop. And it's sold, and it takes time to arrive. And so, we'll do the time warp again. And it says it's here. Where? There it is. I actually kind of wanted it slotted over here. What is the plan? The plan for this growler, the car with the highest top speed, I'm not sure. Do I want to do a race build with it, with a wild, lot of wild striping? I think I already have one of my other characters that's the Christmas one. Let us ponder. Let us ponder. We go right to livery, because that's what's going to gonna determine. Okay, we have some subtle things. And, of course, you got that. Now, Ron Livery, that, that has potential. Is that, uh, is that Santa Claus one that rare? I think we're going to do the White Fister. Lip Spoiler. Like, there's that's the only... Is this, is this one where it's got a functioning spoiler and then you could screw stuff up? We're going to have to try that out. It's got a lot of options. Okay, armor it. Brakes. Bumpers, front bumper. Street. If they're functioning lights, that's uh, performance. Endurance. Endurance has apparently more intake there. Performance is a little more arrow. Street gives you a little more light. Stock gives you a little more style, if I'm perfectly honest. Smooth bumper. Take the lights off. Arch vented. Smooth arch vented. I, I'm thinking none of that's calling to me. Let's try it this way. It's dual vintage bumper. Not attractive, though. Not. Let's, let's just leave it alone for right now. It's strut brace. I 
triangulate. I want to do something probably a little in the way of classiness. That looks pretty classy. We'll rev that up. Exhaust. Single exhaust out the back. Here we can kind of a semi double. Dual bore. Cut that out of the way. Fender vents? No. Carbon fender? No. I think for hood catches means it won't open. What the heck is carbon rally hood? Okay, no. We're just going to keep it smooth. Dash. Carbon dash. Track prepped. I don't think I'm doing a track one, although it will see the track. Dials. Pond run attack. Dash gauges. All the gauges. I can see doing, the, doing that, just some additional gauges on the side. Aluminum. This, these are for, for hardcore race builds. Carbon sport. All it, no, it's stock wheel. I mean, this is almost Benny's level of customization here. Apex professional. Roll cage. Do we want a white half cage? Do we want to do that? White full cage. It's interesting that they, they give you the white option here. It's primary full cage, secondary full cage. White pad. Well, that's not a dash dodger if it goes through it. White reinforced. Oh, heck. Let's do a secondary half cage. I think I'm not banging my head now, but at least it keeps the roof from collapsing. Uh, lights. Headlights. Xenons. Yeah, this, this seems like a car that would get Xenons. Front back sides. We're just going to leave it white. Lip spoiler we're going to leave alone because I want to see if it, uh, we've already got that. Mirrors. Yeah, primary mirrors. Plate we'll leave alone. Huh, we can put a... Primary color. I'm thinking, because a growler apparently can be like a, a glass beer or stainless beer container. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. And that's dinner, so I'm not even going to get all of this done. We're going to pick a color, though. I'm thinking, like, something very reminiscent of beer, like a dark beer container or something. What's the darkest brown we can get? Not chapter purple. Chapter purple could work though. I mean, you know, if the beer if the beer brown doesn't seem to call to me. Bison brown, chocolate brown. That's a very Porsche color. And now I'm gonna do the time warp again because I gotta go have dinner. I feel like I've reached a new level in my game playing when I don't feel any compulsion to do any of those 
missions, even though it would be really quite lucrative. It's not there. I'm gonna do this instead. Dinner was good. And now we can go back to making a plain brown Porsche. Why not trick it out like the rest of them, like all crazy? I'll tell you, the thing I don't like, I don't like the... It's a little bit green. Don't you see that? that I, I want a warmer brown. What if we did something... Something with a pearlescent. Creek brown. I think the creek brown is what's <laughs> throwing it off. Straight up gold might work best. And for secondary, you do a chrome. And chrome out the internal pieces there. I don't know about chrome. Secondary matte black. Makes it a little more subtle. Trim color. Dark steel. Let's darken it up. We can we could go with the brown. Need the straw brown? Do the brown interior like that? Truth be told, with the straw brown interior, this this was a 911. If this was based on a 911, I'd go with black and then be much like Black Beauty. But I think we're just going to, because it's a Cayman, we'll leave it as is. We'll leave it with the golden brown. Rear splitters. That's just, what the heck is that supposed to be even? Primary lip splitter. We'll go with that. That's that's it's not too far gone. Light bar. I guess if you're going for like a safari build. Oh none, yeah. That's skirts, primary extended. We can go wild, but we're not going wild. Uh, splitters, let me just get that wedge split. Oh, this is. No, none of that. Spoiler! Again, I have to see if it has its own powered spoiler. Because some of those have not been. It's a lot of. It's not been going well. Suspension, what do you think? I think for a Porsche. Tail lights. Why would you want any of that? No. I'm sure there's a reason. I just don't know what it is. For me, Porsche is turbo. I mean, I know that there's some very good naturally aspirated Porsches. And I actually prefer the feel of a naturally aspirated engine, at least for the turbos I've driven. I prefer the naturally aspirated. Hmm. Looks like you got a choice between black and carbon. I think we'll go with carbon. Or none. I mean, you know. Wheels. Wheel type. I'm, I'm not going stock with this. Ooh. There's something to be said there. Nothing. 
90s running. That's very GT40. Hidden six. Oof. Retro turbo fan. Conical turbo fan. Super turbine. Should we go deep dish? Wheel color. Could go with like a white. Follow the uh, Frost white to go with the fister. In all honesty, that's not calling to me. Black doesn't really. I need something to kind of go with the. The gold's almost a little too bright, but I guess not. Bronze. That's a tough call, because I mean, the gold pops a little bit better. Kind of works with the brown a little bit better. I think we'll go with that. Could do uh, match the interior, but it doesn't really match. Dark copper kind of works. Dark copper might work the best matching up with the gold. I think that's what it normally does. Tires. Bulletproof them. Atomic. That's not calling to me. Windows light smoke, of course. Now let me let me just see. Does this have an active spoil? Because it's got an active spoiler, I'll leave the spoiler alone. All right. Shut up, Lester. It doesn't seem to have one. We're gonna have to put a spoiler on this. It has a small lip spoiler, but. I do, I do like the build of this. I wanted to go something a little yeah, bit more real. A little bit more realistic. Only a little bit. It's GTA. But I mean. Okay, Q. So as you can guess, we're not doing that. <laughs> Do the wild wings first. Really? There's nothing but wild wings? I know I've had this conversation before. The GT wing seems the least egregious. Let's go to the GT wing. This does leave us with the question, of course. We all know what's next. 
I don't know why I go down. I can just hit enter. I always end up searching for it even though it's right there. The Chiliad Hot Lab Root. Point to point GTA in the sports. Noon. Clear. Good enough. It is late. It's coming up on 11 o'clock at night. Come on, where are you, you little Porsche? There it is. I don't really expect it to have any problems. Maybe here. All right, that, that worked out fine. It's very gingerly through there, so I don't know how the car would have handled it if I'd really pressed by a little bit it into next week, but we, we got through there. Or head the train if it's even spotted. It does wander a little down the tracks. Otherwise, it feels quick. Just under the tree. A little light, a little floaty. I mean, it's it's a cave. I mean, that's kind of what I would expect. I I don't know. I've never driven one in real life. That is the smaller sibling to the 911. So. People argue that it's actually the better performing, better balanced car than the Renault 11. They're just supposed to be very good. I don't know how well that will translate into GTA, but so far we're not having any problems. Except for bouncing around and wanting to go eat. It does pull. I mean, it, it really does climb. It's a good climbing drop. Now is it a good car going downhill? Or will we find ourselves in some kind of horrible predicament? Okay, horrible predicament is happening. We can't recover. Recover. And now we go for our own self-inflicted horrible predicament. Oh dear. It's really just floating along there for the longest while. You know, I'm having a run of these where they just explode. Where they, they flop right over, land on the roof, and I just go boof.
That's just bizarre. It was all going so well. I'm genuinely surprised whenever a car explodes. Because, I mean, I put all the armor out. They really should. I think it's I think it's a run of two. I've blown up two on the hill today. Two would be a run of its own nature. Let's brakes, brakes. It doesn't want to stop. Oh, there goes the rear window. I'm picking it up a little bit differently. This floatiness is getting to be a little bit difficult. Because I'm losing control. On the re on the regular. Okay, this is going to be a major launch. Oh, goodness. Well, I mean, the good news is, is there good news? Yes, we made it far enough that we can get out of here. speed at 122 it should make a, for a, a good Fred car in general if you ever get one wow I thought we were going in the river there. whoa that was that was a bit touchy It'd be funny to blow it up out here wouldn't it It's a little, a little active. A little bit, a little bit responsive to the bumps. Let's see, now that we're on, on the road. I think I think him not a bad car for just you know driving on roads like you're supposed to drive a horse. <laughs> I wonder if it's got like a lot of good base grip and of course a lot of power. But not a great off-road traction loss that you only notice when it's sliding around. But it hasn't got so bad an off-road traction loss that you can't drive up hills with it. Makes the jump no problem. Which is the kind of thing you would expect. went through the bush, but it was still perturbed by the bush. As often happens. I do not want to blow this up at this point. I didn't want to blow it up before. having a tail that would swing around on it makes sense I think but I think the Cayman's supposed to be more mid-engine than rear engine so in the 911 you expect more of that this is supposed to be balanced supposed to be nicely balanced still did, did well enough I mean we're here and free mode
pium pium pium. Is it is it kind of standard? Is it kind? Of, yeah, but that's kind of what I want. I wanted a real looking car for this one. Nothing. No, I don't like that one. Manage vehicles, vehicle preferences, all the doors popping up. That thunder or wind or something. I don't know. It's it's very brown. Strut braces and everything else. You don't get to see the engine. That's probably how they are in real life. Can you imagine working on that? If they, all this has to come up and off or take panels off. I guess Cayman orders, you know, Cayman owners take their uh, their, their cars to the uh, the dealership. <laughs> I like it though. I think it's a pleasant car. I think it's one that I have to have in the in the fleet because of its capabilities. I'm not sure, having driven it up and down Chilia, that I I think I don't know that it's a good racer. It has the highest top end, and there might be tracks for it, but. I don't know that it's something that I wouldn't think is going to flip around on me in a race. I'll probably take it somewhere along the line in some kind of race, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure I didn't build this properly because if, what I think we have here is we have a very good personal car, a very good personal fast car. It goes quick, it has some velocity, and it looks good doing it. I'm happy with it. Still doing that Fallout 4 thing. Where I use the wheel to change views, you have to do this. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. See, I thought this was a growler, but it's an S2 Cabrio. So this character, do I need to get him a growler? I don't know. This car kind of meets the uh, the nice date kind of slot here in the garage. Parking is so limited. I only got one. Let's see how that goes. Let's see if we fall in love with it. If we don't fall in love with it, we don't have to buy more of them. You know what I mean? <laughs>